But at last year's CARICOM intercessional meeting, Port au Prince, Haiti, CARICOM heads learned about a common marketing fund that would pitch the Caribbean as one destination to global visitors. The idea was to ensure that the message got out that if any natural disaster hit any islands of the Caribbean, the region will still open for business. Tourism and Aviation Minister the Honorable Dionisio Diagula was among the presenters in Haiti in his capacity as the former chairman of the Caribbean Tourism Organization. We asked him last week for an update on the status of the fund. Uh, we uh, envisioned uh, a levy of a dollar on every airline ticket flown into the Caribbean, and that was pre um, uh, put forward to the heads of government at CARICOM. Um, I don't think it's advanced. Um, some countries have participated, um, but it's, it, it's, it's very, very hard to get consensus with all the different Caribbean countries. That's probably our downfall. Uh, we don't come together. We think that, oh, well, maybe we can do it on our own. But it, it, it would have been better to create a fund that could be out there pounding the Caribbean. And when people say, oh, I want to go on a Caribbean holiday, then you can search Caribbean and then we could fight for whoever, whatever markets uh, um, that we wanted to get. So. Um, I'm not, no longer chairman of the Caribbean Tourism Organization, and I don't know whether it's going to be on the agenda uh, for CARICOM. We made the presentation. St. Lucia was extremely supportive, but I don't think it got, it made much traction. Well, 600 delegates from 30 Caribbean destinations are expected to attend Caribbean Travel Marketplace 2020 at Bahama Resorts next year, January. The 38th edition of this much-anticipated regional conference will feature an array of global and regional industry stakeholders who are eager to come to the Bahamas to attract business. Some of the organizers indicated at a press conference last week how this annual conference significantly boosts regional tourism. If our tourism figures could be compared to the financial markets, we would say the Bahamas is now experiencing a bull market. That is, not to say that our prices are going to continue to rise. However, we must approach the future with optimism, enthusiasm for our tourism offering, and sustainability and, red and widespread of our robust tourism economy. We're going to blow by that 300 buyers number. Uh, the opportunity to bring in new buyers. I know Jamaica had folks from China and India. We were talking this morning about more Latin America uh, markets, the way to open up new markets, because really we want to get these, these operators here. That's the whole, that's the name of the game. In recent years, we've seen an increase of buyers expanding from North America and the UK, which is our traditional buying market, into countries like China and India. Um, in addition to, obviously, all of our traditional Caribbean source markets. 